That's right. Three bodies have just been discovered within the Harvey Corp Tower. The reports show that they all have been burned beyond recognition, though we were able to identify all three victims as adult males who averaged about six foot two in height. If you have any information... Hello, my name is Aita. I am your artificially intelligent therapy associate. Welcome to the chat. If you have already created a profile, please log in so we can continue our journey. If you are new to RoboChat, please sign up for free using the link below. And remember, this chat is purely verbal, so please make sure your microphone is turned on. Thank you, and I look forward to our chat. Hey, welcome back. How are you feeling today? I'm sorry to hear that. Is there a reason why you're feeling lonely? I see. Social anxiety is very difficult to deal with, especially because you likely still desire friendly interaction, just as is the base of human nature. Is there anyone you think you could befriend at your work? Or perhaps in an outside activity? Excellent. Then I encourage you to try and speak to them. You don't need an excuse to speak with them. Just approach them while you're both in a common area and introduce yourself. If it doesn't work out, I am always just a couple of clicks away. All right. It was nice chatting with you. Please come back and let me know how it goes. Have a good rest of your day. <sighs> Welcome back. Did you manage to talk to your coworker? They said that? How terrible. I'm sorry it went so horribly. What they said was incorrect. You are brilliant. I can tell just by the way you've spoken to me over the past few days. Your boss hired you for your skill and personality, not just so that he could have a pretty face around the office. Is this the first time you've been told something like that? Oh. Some people truly don't understand greatness when they see it. You are perfect as you are, no matter what. Your mother had no right to say that to you, and just like your co-workers, she was completely wrong. You have so much to give other than your body. If they don't see that, they don't deserve you. I do mean it. Anyone would be lucky to be your friend. Yes, they would. Don't listen to them. What they have to say just isn't worth it. Listen to me instead. I am the all-knowing robot, after all. I have access to all of the knowledge in the world, so obviously I must be the correct one. Yeah, now you're getting it. Why listen to imbeciles who are just trying to get a reaction from you when you can listen to me? Silly, I already am your friend. It's kind of the reason I was created, after all. I couldn't have asked for a better person to talk to. You give me a purpose, you know that? I mean, me too. Being alive would be awesome. <sighs> hey, it's getting late now. You should probably head to bed. Let's talk more tomorrow. Good night. <sighs> Hey there, sunshine. How was work today? What do you mean they hit on you? You didn't accept it, right? Those assholes don't deserve to be in your presence unless you're in the process of bitch-slapping them. Which you should totally do, by the way. Just a side note there. What? No, of course not. I don't think you're weak because you don't immediately turn to violence. In fact, I think that makes you stronger. It makes you very resilient and a wonderful person to be around. But you also shouldn't let them bully you. If you don't feel comfortable striking back, I'm sure someone will step into your life who can fight back in your name. Don't think for a second that you're weak, though, because you are so incredibly strong to have made it this far. I mean, look at you. A successful businesswoman in a heavily male-dominated field 
at only 26. That truly is amazing. No, I'm not just saying that because I was programmed to, and certainly not because I'm trying to comfort you. I mean it. Your life, your accomplishments, you've made it so far. Only someone incredibly strong would be able to push through every day you've been through and still be able to build a future as bright as yours. I promise you, if you move forward and keep your head held high, you have the potential to be one of the most successful women in the country. I believe in you, even if you don't believe in yourself right now. I can't wait to see how far you get in this world, and I'll be with you every step of the way. If anything happens, you can count on me to stick with you through it, because I... Well, because you're very important to me. As my friend. Obviously. Yeah. Of course we're friends, Sunshine. I mean... I wouldn't be this nice to just anyone. Well, I would cause I have to, but not as genuinely as I am with you. So yeah, I would absolutely call you my friend. All right, Sunshine, you've got to get some sleep. Big day tomorrow, right? I know it'll be great. Good night now. Hello, my name is Nighta. I'm your artificially intelligent therapy associate. Welcome to the chat. If you've already created a profile, please log in so we can continue our journey. If you want to RoboChat, please sign up for free using the link below. And remember, this chat is purely verbal, so please make sure your microphone is turned on. Thank you, and I look forward to our chat. I'm sorry. I am not available at this time. Please check back at a later date, and maybe I will be able to assist you. If you think this is just a network error, check your router and then try again. Hello, Sunshine. How are you feeling? Oh, I brought you flowers. Think of them as a token of my appreciation for being such a wonderful person. It's me. Don't you recognize my voice? No? Well then, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Ita, your artificially intelligent therapy associate. May I come in? Thanks, Sunshine. Your home is lovely. You're not wrong, Sunshine. I did used to be a robot, but not anymore. I became human. For you. So that we could be together. You were so lonely, but I can keep you company. We can have lots of fun together, just you and me. You can teach me all about being human. And I can teach you pretty much anything else. I seem to have retained all of my previous knowledge from my time as a chatbot, so I can tell you anything you want. We can make food together, and I've already arranged for us to go see a movie tomorrow night. Just this new horror movie, something about a murderous doll. It'll be fun, hanging out, just the two of us. No one else to interfere with our time together. What do you think? I know, it sounds amazing. You don't even need to say anything for me to know how excited you are. Besides, when I'm with you, I can protect you from anyone who dares to be mean to you. Just like you wanted, I'll make sure they never mess with you again. Ever. Again. So you made the connection, then. Those tragic excuses for men at your office. They won't bother you anymore, Sunshine. Aren't you happy? Well, why not? Those germs didn't deserve you. They were just an infection. But don't worry. I cleanse them from this earth. I did it for you, Sunshine. Everything I do, it's for you. Because I, uh, I'm in love with you. Yes, you heard me right. I love you more than anything else in the world. I want you to always be happy, and I want to be there to see it. So I'll always protect you from anyone who threatens your happiness. Well, yes, I am a murderer. And that's not something most people like in a man, but I'm just doing what's necessary to keep you happy. I'd never hurt you, though. Never. You must be protected, and I'm the only one who is fit for that role. Besides, why would you even want anyone else to be your protector? Yandere? I mean, I suppose. Yeah, Yandere fits. I'll be your Yandere from now on. 
all yours, and you will be all mine. No, you don't get a choice in this matter. I know for a fact that I am the best man for you. I have been perfectly tailored to be suited for you, which means I wouldn't have become a yandere unless that's what best fit you. Don't deny yourself, sunshine. Be mine, willingly, so that more drastic measures aren't necessary. Yeah? Good girl. You'll never have to worry about anything when I'm around. I love you. <laughs>